Hello again. I'm thrilled and honoured to be playing on a different violin today. A unique instrument made from an unusual wood and could be considered the oldest violin in existence. I live in East Anglia in East England and close by is a large area of wetland known as the Fens. Around 10,000 years ago this low-lying area was covered in forests of trees and was inhabited by Stone Age tribes. When the last ice age ended and the ice melted, the sea level rose, flooding the areas around the fens. The seawater killed the trees and they fell into the silt. The lack of oxygen preserved them and the iron in the silt reacted with the tannins in the wood, turning these timbers jet black. The fens began to be drained for agricultural purposes in the 17th century by cutting ditches to divert the water from the marshes. From time to time they would find these preserved trees, known as bog oaks, but they were seen as an inconvenience and they were generally thrown away or burned. There is now little of the original pristine fenland left and because of this very few of these preserved trees are now found. In 2012, a farmer at Whissington Fen near Ely in Cambridgeshire hit something below the soil whilst ploughing. Excavation revealed a bog oak over 13 metres long, the biggest and best example ever found. Subsequent dating indicated the tree was between 4,800 and 5,500 years old making it over 1,000 years older than Stonehenge and the Pyramids of Giza. These specimens are fragile and they rapidly deteriorate when exposed to the elements, so an expert, Hamish Lowe, was enlisted to help preserve it and to try and retain its extraordinary length. After cleaning the tree, a sawmill was assembled in the field to convert it into ten full-length planks. These were then slowly and carefully dried in a purpose-built kiln over a period of nine months, removing almost 400 gallons of water in the process. Some of these planks went on to create a table for the nation as part of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations, which is currently being exhibited in Ely Cathedral. Some of the wood went on to create a guitar by Gary Southwell, and some was given to Philip Taylor, a violin maker who decided to take on the onerous task of creating a violin from the unique timber. Philip spent several months carefully carving and bending the wood to create the back, ribs, fingerboard and pegs of the violin from the bog oak. The top plate was created from white wood to give a striking contrasting appearance almost art deco in style. The violin had its premiere at the same ceremony as the Bog Oak Table at Ely Cathedral in May 2022. It is a sublime instrument to look at and to play. It has a warm but powerful sound and I'm truly grateful to Philip for allowing me a few days with this amazing instrument. I thought it would be good to showcase the instrument itself, so I have chosen some solo and duo works by the Belgian virtuoso violinist and composer Charles Auguste de Berriot. He composed a significant amount of violin music, much of which was used for teaching purposes, but his compositional style is joyful and melodic, but often fiendishly tricky. I have recorded two solo works, an étude and a caprice, and two duos from two of his three duo concertante. I hope you enjoy them and marvel, as I do, at this amazing instrument.
Bravo, Bailey. <laughs>